uh, Tremont Library, focusing still on STEM. And for our March, I know that we kind of posted those archaeology, but in true factual form, it is more paleontology because we are going to talk about dinosaurs and dinosaur fossils. So just so you know, dinosaurs lived a really, 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 really long time ago. The first one was that's been found and recorded is 300 BC. So that's like before us, basically. And this timeline kind of shows you the different periods for uh, dinosaurs. So there was the Jurassic, there was the Jurassic, kind of like Jurassic Park, the movie, and the Cretaceous. So technically the T-Rex lived during the Cretaceous, not the Jurassic. So, and that's what, so my little blue line here, these are some of the dinosaurs that lived during the Jurassic period. This guy lived during the Paleozoic era, and most of these guys are from the Cretaceous period. And dinosaur fossils have been found in the United States. Most of the dinosaurs are usually found around the Rocky Mountain area. And then there's a few, like these guys here, like the Ankylosaurus and the Coriosaurus, they were found in Canada, which is a neighboring country to us. So those are fun facts. So in your kit, you will have your instructions and then you have a worksheet because when you're done, you should find a dinosaur because you're gonna excavate some dinosaur eggs to see what kind of dinosaurs you get. And I wanna, uh, you can learn information about your dinosaurs and how you learn your information about your dinosaurs is you have a key ring that's got kind of like collecting cards, but they're all dinosaurs. So there's pictures on the front and on the back, it tells you the dinosaur's name and just underneath it, it tells you how to pronounce it because some of the dinosaur names are really hard to pronounce, but this makes it easy. And then underneath it is all the facts you should need in order to fill out your sheet. Okay, so that's what we got so far. Uh, we have one bag of salt, one bag of flour, and that's to make your fossil impressions. When we've got one, two dinosaur eggs, and then to help you investigate your dinosaurs, you have a brush, a pick, a hammer, and I can get it out of here. A magnifying glass. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mix up my salt dough. Okay, so your salt dough is at the bottom. You can do your dinosaurs first if you want your eggs. We're gonna open one and show you but this you can mix up. So all you do is you pour in a bowl your flour and your salt. And Miss Nicole likes to use her hands, but if you don't, you can use a spoon. I'm gonna mix together my salt and my flour together. Kind of like baking, you always do your dry ingredients first. And then I'm gonna pour in my water. It says that you need a fourth of a cup. I'm just gonna mix until it gets a nice doughy consistency. That's what you're looking for. And if you have fun with this, these are ingredients that you have at home. So if you want to make more fossils, you can. Here we go. All right. See, I got a nice doughy consistency. All right. Okay. Now the fun part. We're going to crack open one of our dinosaur eggs. 
just so you know, our dinosaur eggs is made out of coffee grounds, flour, salt, and sand. I'm gonna see if I can, oh, crack open it. <laughs> If you want to have more fun with it, you can get your chisel. Please be very careful when using your tools. You don't need anybody getting hurt, okay? See, we're being careful and slow. We're going to keep chiseling out our dinosaur. And there you have it. We have a stegosaurus. Once you get your dinosaurs out, you can take your salt dough. Make a little ball. And then flatten it. And then you get to press your dinosaur in. If he's kind of sticky, use some extra salt or extra flour. And then you just kind of press him in again. Let's do another one more with the the skeleton-like dinosaur. Press it down. And then this will get a real cool impression. Way cool. All right, you can let those air dry or you can bake them in the oven. Have fun, friends. Bye. some great books that we have here at our library that you can come check out. When it comes to dinosaur books, we've got you covered. So come to the library and there's lots more other than these. And the number you want to look under is 560 or 56 and then on. So this is Everything Dinosaur. This is the National Geographic. National, National Geographic does a really good job. This is the Dino Dinopedia, it's kind of like the encyclopedia of dinosaurs. This definitely helped Miss Nicole do a lot of our projects, so I definitely recommend this one. This is another great one. This is the greatest dinosaur ever. What do you think that is? Do you guys know which one that is? I don't know. You have to get the book to see. And then here's a little dinosaur. This is an I am Allosaurus. He's a crafty dinosaur. So please come to the library and check these books out.